It's the 20th of January, 1985, three o'clock in the afternoon. HMS Trafalgar's patrol from hell continues after receiving a mauling at the hands of Soviet maritime patrol aircraft. The TU-142 managed to score a few lucky hits with its depth bombs on the forward section of Trafalgar's hull, causing some structural damage and jamming shut one of the forward torpedo doors. Cook's chief engineer assures the captain that they've patched up the worst of it for now, although there's no fixing the jammed tube. The man sweats a little, belying some thinly veiled anxiety. He notes, however, that it's nothing short of a damn miracle that the sonar array has been left without so much as a scratch. The attack has left many of the crew feeling particularly on edge, and with good reason. Depth charge attacks, while rare in this day and age, still push the men's minds to their limits as the stick of bombs out in the water creeps closer, like the booming of a giant's footsteps. Even if the men of Trafalgar survive this war, many will still have to endure its effects, jumping a little every time a door slams or a car backfires, and being unwilling to explain to anyone why. Even in peacetime, submariners commonly experience what they refer to as coffin dreams, even decades after retirement, that are invoked by the cramped conditions in which they live. For these men, it's likely to be just one symptom of many. Historically, air attack has always been a major concern for submarines, with maritime patrol aircraft being used as early as the First World War, in the form of zeppelins and blimps. The British, rather ironically, perfected the art during the Second World War, developing ever more inventive and technologically advanced ways of detecting German U-boats and sinking them. Long-range aircraft, quite often adapted from civilian airliners like the US Navy's P-3 Orion, are fitted with radar and magnetic anomaly detectors, as well as an array of sonar buoys that can be dropped in a pattern to triangulate the position of an enemy vessel. Once the sub is located, then it's simply a matter of dropping depth bombs and air-launched torpedoes to hunt it down. Captain Cook has now received a textbook demonstration of this technique, though on this occasion he did manage to give the Soviet airmen the slip. Barely. It comes as cold comfort that, on the bright side, at least the Soviets haven't resorted to the use of nuclear depth bombs yet, because if they had, the slim hope of escape would have quickly turned to no hope at all. In the meantime, as the engineers continue to make sure there's no additional structural damage which has gone unnoticed, the sub waits at its assigned patrol grid, awaiting the approach of yet more Soviet vessels, once again making a desperate break for the Atlantic Ocean. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back once again to Cold Waters, the HMS Trafalgar campaign. Where previously we discovered that the deadliest foe of all is one of those things right there. TU-95 Bear anti-submarine warfare aircraft. They're nasty. They're so nasty, in fact, that a depth charge that exploded underneath us took out one of our torpedo tubes and reduced our hull integrity to 50%. Unfortunately, Northward is not in a particularly forgiving mood today, and so they have decided to send us, instead of back home for repairs, to uh, Green 10 here on the map to try and hunt down a pack of Soviet diesel-electric submarines. We're expecting between two and four boats. And... Uh, they're headed for the North Atlantic. On the very, at the very least, we're in the middle of the Norwegian Sea, so the water is nice and deep. And diesel electric subs are, without wanting these to be my famous last words, an awful lot easier to deal with than some of the stuff we've gone up against recently. So, it's time to unpause and wait. Oh my goodness me. That's a task force and a half, isn't it? Uh, I had my doubts about you, but you're heading the other way now. Ah, these guys coming up here look like more promising customers. Hello, gentlemen. Um, I'd like to get in front of you so we can finally... Jesus, sometimes the proximity you have to get to them on the map is ridiculous. Okay, our speed is 5 knots, our depth 15 meters, our heading 3-4 degrees. Uh, there is a moderate surface duct, a moderate thermal layer at 43 meters. Um, my orders are going to be close to 15 kilometers. Uh, make sure we... Oh, my, my tubes are a mess. Yes, one of our tubes is out of action currently. Load tiger fish in all of these, please. They can remain on passive. 
and the rest of the settings are fine. Uh, action stations. On sonar, new contact bearing three. Bring ship for ultra quiet. Okay, right. It's the middle of the night. The sea is looking on quite sonar, calm. New contact bearing zero four seven designated Sierra two. Okay. Make depth one. Two, Brings up a couple of meters. I want to put out the radar mast. Make sure there's no trawlers and whatnot lurking about. Raise the radar map. Con, dive at one, two, dive by. What have we got? Nothing? It's looking like nothing. Nothing within our range, anyway. Lower the radar mast. So, let's have a look at you, shall we? Let's get the recognition manual open. Let's begin the usual ritual, shall we? Um, try and figure out where you're almost certainly not going to be a whiskey. I don't, I don't think I've ever encountered a whiskey in the NATO campaign. It will in the 80s campaign, anyway. I reckon maybe you can run into one if you play in the 60s campaign. Which I really should do one of these days, actually. The 60s campaign is, is rough stuff. It's proper difficult, but... It's a very different kind of warfare in some ways. Is cavitating. Do we reckon that's a kilo? I reckon that's a kilo. In fact, I definitely think Con it's a kilo Star at this point. Sierra one is classified as submerged. And we submerged. we know it's a kilo now because the idiot started cavitating for some reason. What about you? Or something else entirely? That's a blue whale. That. Con sonar Sierra two is classified as biologic. That. Petty officer is biologic. A blue whale, and someone who knows an awful lot more about sonar than you do. Had to get a sneaky Red October reference in there. You know I had to. Okay, so we have a kilo, and we have a blue whale. <laughs> uh, interesting that the kilo was the first thing we spotted. That doesn't usually happen. We're getting a good solution on this guy. We can't see him in the 3D just yet, but he's, uh, he's right there. He's right there. Kilos do not have total rays, do they? It's their one real weakness, if you ask me, aside from their slowness. Being a diesel electric. If, if kilos had total rays, man. That would be a heck of a boat. There he is. Tootling along. I wonder why he started cavitating. That was a bit foolish of him, wasn't it? But I guess the enemy captains make mistakes too. Randomly cavitating is something I usually do, really. Um, <laughs> he's at six knots at the minute. I imagine he's going to try and speed up to eight. Maybe he was. He, maybe he wanted to go speed up to eight, but he was, he was just a little too, um, you know, shallow. Speaking of being a little shallow, take us down to sixty meters. Make depth six one. Die by. Because this guy's just skirting the edge of the layer at the moment. And I reckon the reason, the reason why we can't see anyone else except for him is because the rest of them are below it. And it's a moderate layer too, so... Down we go. Boosh, immediately. Zero, seven, three, designated Sierra, three. We have... Not a whiskey. Close, but not a whiskey. Looks like a tango. Con sonar, Sierra, well, that's two boats so far. What is this kilo summary. doing? He's just he's turning this way now. Yeah, went below the we went below the layer and boosh immediately, immediately tango. He's not where I expected him to be though. I expected him to be over here somewhere, honestly. But we'll let the uh, let the sonar men. Narrow down his location for a bit. Wait, what? Oh my god, what happened? I must have accidentally mashed a keyboard shortcut there because it wanted to service the boat. I'm glad I caught that in time. Catastrophic. Uh, is that tango coming straight towards me? Because I don't like that. Oh boy, he is! Okay. Things are about to get spicy, everybody. Con, dive at six, one, dive by.
I'm almost certain this kilo knows where we are. Oh, it's only five on active. It's only five on active, but we don't, we are not going to have a lot of time here. I think. I think action needs to be taken. Uh, have a tiger fish. Have a tiggy. Gun fire control. We've lost the wire. A tiggy for you also, sir. Shoot two two. Hi, sir. A decoy for both of you. Shoot two five. Hi, sir. Come right two. Take us right to one one two, one, two. and Hi. dive us. Down to six hundred. The sea floor is at a ridiculous 1,320 meters. It's nice and deep. God bless the Norwegian Sea. Oh, we have a Sierra 4, do we? Uh, okay. Can I try to figure out what you are? What are you? You're obviously a submarine of some sort. Or were you? Could have been that. No, it's not that. It's not another biologic, is it? It's not another whale. I think it's another whale. <laughs> I think it's another Gone whale. Ah, uh, two. Fly you you, you, you wait for ages for 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 a blue whale, and then and then two of them come along all at once. They're like buses. All right, the tango. He has a UCAT 80 torpedoes, and there's a very good chance that the one he's fired at is could be a oh, UCAT 80. No. So Steady that's something that we're going to have to worry about momentarily. Um, in fact, come right to one. Make turns. Speed us up a bit, chaps. Make turns for one, five, I don't want to lose this wire if possible. In fact. Oh well, never mind. There it there it goes. Maximum speed, everybody. I don't know if we're going to catch that kilo. If I'm honest with you, he's pootling on in this direction. I don't know if the uh, if the tigerfish is going to be smart enough to require him. He's a problem we'll have to simply worry about later. I'm a, I'm a, I'm almost a little surprised we're seeing a kilo at this stage, um, considering we are winning the war, and it's been a while. But it is only one of them. We lost the blue whale. It's it's fine. It's just we can't hear it anymore. <laughs> the, 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 the whale has activated silent running. Okay, what are you? You're new. Okay, the kilo's launched. Hopefully at the uh, at the moss. Speaking of that moss, let's reload. Let's reload. We may have to reacquire the kilo later. I'm gonna it's gonna end up in our baffles momentarily. Con sonar lost con helm. Con sonar launch transient from Sierra five. Okay, Sierra five, I see how it is. Tempted to fire back down its line of bearing, but I don't think I will. I'll exercise some restraint. If I had better torpedoes I might, but I don't, so there's no way to tell what Sierra 5 really is at this point, honestly. It's, uh, the, the, the noise from our speed is just too... bonkers. I, I have no idea what that could be. Okay. Submarine's about to cross our wake. That looks like you said 80 to me. It's got a red top on it. Oh, there goes our tiger fish in the, in the background, going back the other way. <laughs> Torpedo jousting! Right. If it is a U-set 80, it has a seeker range of 1,500 meters. Which, by a whisker, I think we might just get out of. And it might be slightly within it, but I think the chances of it picking us up at the absolute extremity of its seeker cone is relatively unlikely. Bring ship for ultra quiet. 
All right, Monsieur Tango. Sierra, there's a Sierra Six now. Oh my God. Well, now we've slowed down. We might be able to identify some of these guys. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra Six, last bearing zero one seven. Contact. I'm feeling that Tigerfish is not going to get con much luck. Sonar lost contact. Sierra Five, last bearing zero right, four. Nine. Put contact a blip faded. there for that, and a blip there for you Con as well. Sonar regained contact on Sierra One, bearing three three eight. So we've regained contact with the kilo. I'm re I'm kind of waiting to see if this tigerfish goes for it before I fire again. The tango knows exactly where we are. I mean, the only reason I'm going so slow at the moment is basically just for the purposes of getting a better situational picture of what's going on. Look, there's a, it looks like there's a torpedo going this way for some reason. Uh, if they decided to shoot at one of the whales, I mean, that would be relative. That would actually be quite realistic if they did. But, um, not. I don't think I've seen that very happen very often in the game. There's Aunt Moss pootling away. I'm getting the feeling. I mean, it's got one more snake to the right. If it doesn't acquire after that, uh, we could probably, we could pretty much give up on any hope of it happening. I think. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra Five, bearing zero four eight. Ooh, by Jove! I think it has. That was pushing it to the limit, wasn't it? A bit there. That was the last chance it had to do it, I think. Ah, he's popped the noisemaker. There you go. Marvellous. He might be able to evade that for a while, but I don't think he'll be able to do it for long. He's only a diesel electric. He has, a... he has an underwater speed of 13 knots. Am I reading that correctly? No, 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 no. It's an underwater speed of uh, 15 knots. Wow, a blistering 15. It's like watching a snail try to run a marathon. Um... Hello, there's the kilo again. He's popped back up. No idea where Sarah 6 and 5 are. Um, You can keep us at 5 knots, but we don't need to silent run anymore. Just get that moss reloaded in the meantime. Cast solution on the tango is being somewhat limited right now by the number of noisemakers he's put in the water. Um... Come left to zero, eight, nine, Deploy the tow to right. Take us to the left again. I'd like to get a better picture of what's going on out here. Zero, six, six. There goes the tiger fish. Looks like it's reacquired. Looks like he'll probably avoid this. On, uh, avoid it on this run because he's due to drop another noisemaker any second now. Con sonar, there he goes. Bearing zero, six, five. But if the if the tigerfish can get itself turned around quick enough, oh oh oh, it's gone right. It, ah, but it's 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 dived under it. Okay, man, there's something up with your, your torpedo when a when a diesel electric sub can dive under it. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it's not exactly a, a, an Akula we're trying to track down here with a torpedo, is it? You know, or an Alpha. Con Helm. <laughs> it's a freaking tango. I think he's well and truly got under his sensor cone for now, but or, or not, or not. It's heading down there. He'll drop into the noisemaker in a sec, though. Con sonar, there it is. Noisemaker bearing. Now, you're going to drive around or through? You're going to drive around. And back to the left again. Drive through would have been much better there, mate, but never mind. Will it get him this time, or is it going to dive under him again? Oh, interesting. We're actually coming at it from below. Oh, I think he might have had it this time. Look at that thing maneuver. There we go. 
valiant effort there by that crew, really, seriously. They made that match to make that thing wiggle. Come left to zero two eight helm I. Okay, we got a tango, we got a kilo. We still have nothing on Sierra Six. I wonder if all the noisemakers over here are causing us to have a fuzzy picture of this side of things. It wouldn't surprise me. From Sierra One. Okay, okay. I reckon I if I were a betting man, I'd say he was going for that moss. Um, let's see. Signature. Bing, bing. I think the Kilo still knows where we are. The Tango, on the other hand, is utterly clueless. These whales are very lucky. Although the moss is going to cross their path pretty soon, unless it runs out of fuel, which it probably will. Con, helm, steady course. Wait a minute. You don't think. Do you? Nah, surely not. We, could, we couldn't possibly be that lucky, could we? Uh, did somebody fire a... Okay, did somebody fire an, a standoff missile? At a whale. Because that's what that looks like. Do, do any of you guys have standoff missiles? You shouldn't do. And yet there it is. They don't have an aircraft in the area, do they? Would have spotted on radar if they did. No. A man can hope, you know? What depth are you at? It's probably too deep. But I don't know. Not sure. Hmm. A man can dream. Because if that thing gets after him, he's, he's had, really had it. I'm, I'm ha I am quite happy to just sit here and float along and watch. See what happens. Oh my god, there goes a passive torpedo back that way. Oh, these poor whales. <laughs> They're so lucky. So far. Oh god. <laughs> you need to get out of here, whales. <sighs> Deary me. That, yep, yeah, that is a whale. Creature that knows more about sonar than either of these two, apparently. Let's do some time compression. Let's just watch all of this unfold. Oh, cool. go for him. Go for him. You know you want to. You know you want the tango's moving. He's wiggling. No. Ah, oh, what a shame. What a shame. So close. Yep, they're still firing at the moss. Oh, God. Oh no! Interesting, they're firing passives at it. Oh no! Oh no! One of them has acquired the whale! Oh no! Oh god! Poor whale! I think it's acquired the whale. Oh, it has. Or has it? Is the whale gonna get lucky here and dodge, dodge a U set 80? I think it might actually. Looks like it's going under it. Unless it's acquired the other whale. It doesn't, the trajectory doesn't look right for that. Oh, for oh, Hi, whale! We should endeavor to be more like the whale, frankly. It's, it's, its ability to evade torpedoes is incredible. Hope it's not going for this guy. This, this whale has sensibly changed direction. He's like, I'm out. Yeah, this is, this is not good. What, what speed does a whale do, out of curiosity? In eight knots? Oh, my goodness. Can do the cruising speed of a, of, a, of a diesel sub. Same with this guy as well. He's doing five... Oh, sorry, eight knots as well. 
Okay, well, while you chaps are all nice and confused by the whales and the moss... What kind of depth are you guys hanging out at? About... Ooh, coming down a little bit. On average, that out at about 180. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Make us nice and quiet, please. Oh, look, this one went after that. After the moss. The whales have once again survived, but for how long? That is the question. That we got a lot of money. money's worth out of that moss, didn't we? My goodness. See now, I I don't I'm, I don't want to fire now because I, there's a chance I might hit one of the whales, and the, the the comments would never forgive me for it. I'd like to get back into these guys' baffles and then just reset, do this the way it should have been done from the start, you know. Come right to zero nine. Two, I'd really like nine. to relocate Sierra Six, whatever the hell he's got to. Oh, speak of the zero, devil. Six, bearing, zero, one, zero. Looks like it's, fo it's a foxtrot. I think th 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 is there any even an ounce of doubt Con about that. Sonar, Sierra, six, is classified as submerged submarine. Well, with him, we really do not have to worry about that much. Con helm, steady course. It explains why he never didn't never fired at us. At Poor bastard probably had no idea where we were. Blind as a bat. Well, blind as a deaf as a deaf as a post would be more 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 appropriate for a submarine, wouldn't it? Con sonar launch transient from Sierra ah, One. The jig seems to be up. All right then. Have it. Con fire control, we've lost the wire. Con fire control, we've lost the wire. No luck with the cables today, Paul. Apparently, not none whatsoever. Come left. We're going to keep going this way. Eight, six, helm, I. We're going to head down to six hundred. Speed it up ten knots. Probably correctly Con, assume he launched something Stay relatively forward. nasty at me. Con, sonar, lost contact. Sierra, five, last bearing, zero. Retract the total ray as well in case we have to go evasive, I think. I'm curious as to why we lost the tango there, if I'm honest, but we did. Still could see the foxtrot. Con, torpedo room, tube one ready. Down, Con, down, down. Room, we go. Tube two ready. Hull's still at 55%. This is, not, this is not a scenario in which we want to attempt being hit by a torpedo, is it? Any, even more than usual. Tango's Con fired. Regained contact on and we've regained zero, him. Five, bearing zero, five, three. Con, dive at six, zero, zero, dive by. Alright, we're down nice and deep. Ooh, he's, he's really nailed us in there, didn't he? This kilo, he's got himself into an interesting position here. Where if I want to fire another one at him, he needs to aim, I need to aim it this way, which coincidentally is exactly where that whale is. Could fire one of the foxtrot, just to be like, just you know, occasion, you know, it's clubbing a seal really. That, but hey, no, I don't think so. We're at the wrong depth for it anyway, so I am just gonna. We are, as to use the technical term, in the shit right now. Shit. 
Good luck, have fun. Good luck, have fun. Oh, of course you let me have have keep the wires this time, you son of a... All right, we can, we can exploit this for now. Uh, what we can do is we take you, we activate you right away, and we bring you up to the right depth. What's the depth of that blue whale right now? Can't see on the thing. I'm hoping if this is a passive sir, Homer, it'll ignore the whale. Okay, good. Off you go. Off you pop, chump. This way. This general sort of direction. You'll either get the foxtrot or the kilo. And hopefully not the whale. Number two. Weapons. Activate. This way. You're going to go like that. You're also going to come up. We can hear the tangos. The Hulk nearby. In case you're wondering what that creaking noise is in the background. Come on, we need to do this faster. We need to do this faster. There we go. And now we book it out of here. Three, two knots, maneuvering eye. Sayonara. Tiger fish, I hope I've set you up for a for a positive result. I've done the best I can. There goes the wire breaks. I, like I said, I hope I've set them up for success, but uh, who knows? Torpedo room can reload another two in there. that that one turned this way. Did you notice that? I think it still has the wire attached. Hopefully they'll break the wire as soon as they have to go evasive once these things get a bit closer to them. But I think that one's still got the wire, which is a little bit scary. Best we can do at this point it's trying it's you know trying to open up the distance i was tempted to do a captain ramius and head directly towards one of them and hope i could get past it before it activated but if it still had the wire attached the chances of that happening were virtually zero because they would see us coming towards the torpedo and manually activate it then and there so now we run oh boy new launch I think the Foxtrot just launched a set 65. Oh, bless. Okay. Sonar lost contact. Sierra 5. Last bearing 0, 2, 7. Contact is in the baffles. Con, torpedo room. Tube 2 ready. Why did you just turn off my time compression there? Did someone launch again? keeps turning off my time compression and that is I don't like it when it does that because it usually means something bad is happening I can hear a pinging behind us Quiet. Come right Clear the baffles. Two, one, five. Helm I. Con sonar recon helm steady course. I want to know where those torpedoes are. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra one 
Last bearing three, four, three. Contact fade. Deploy the tow to Ray. Con sonar regained contact. Hello on again, blue CR2. whale. Two bearing three, four, four. There's one torpedo over there headed this way. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra one bearing. Come right to two. Set that little eight. green. Helm I. Oh boy. Con sonar regained contact on. Still Sierra tracking us. Five, bearing zero one nine. It's still tracking us. Oh boy, they definitely still have the cable. Absolutely. That one looks like the one the Kilo fired. That's just gone dumb off in that direction. Uh, I think those are our tiger fish. We're just picking up there. And that is a UZ-80 from the Tango that still very much has the wire intact. Which is really bad! Come left to two, six, nine. Helm, we trap the toad array, full speed. Make turns for three, two knots, maneuvering eye. Oh man, I'm trying Calm to get away from it. Steady course. A torpedo with a with a wire still attached is not fun. Look, look at it change direction. They haven't even activated it yet. It's not going its full speed, which means it's quieter. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra four. Last bearing three four nine. Contact fade. Come right to two. I have an idea. It might be a dumb one, but this is just something I. Con helm. Look at it turn. Con sonar lost. And now we go back the other way. Two. Last bearing three four seven. Contact faded. We zigzag. It's speedy. Yeah, they've activated it now. It's speeding up. Sonar lost contact. Sierra one. Last bearing three, four, nine. I'm trying to get the torpedo. To oh, it's Con it's sonar it's circling. Contact on Sierra. Rig ship for ultra. Rig for ultra quiet. Oh boy. Okay. The team seems it's gone active, and I think that maybe they've lost the wire. A tigerfish has arrived on the scene, and if we're lucky, I think they've lost the wire and it's defaulted to its circling pattern. What I was trying to do there was like go this way and then this way, and I was trying to get the torpedo, which is on a constant sort of direct intercept course, to uh, to keep turning left and right and sort of waste energy and time. I don't really know if that was a good idea. It's the sort of thing I, I it helps sometimes to think about torpedo combat underwater as if it's missile combat in the air, and if I suppose that only really helps if you have any background with understanding missile combat in the air. Ooh, that's a lot of torpedoes headed this way. Have you noticed that? My goodness, somebody's panicking out there. Um, <laughs> now might be a good time for a moss. <laughs> uh, I think it could go this way, frankly. Yes. Oh, we were out of mosses now. Oh, boy. Ooh. Come right to... One, nine, no, I have a horrible nine, feeling I might have made a mistake. Nine. This thing might acquire the mox, turn around, and then actually find us. I hope that doesn't happen. I probably should have waited on that. I didn't... Uh, I, should, I didn't think. That was dumb. Con, torpedo room, tube five ready. Con, helm, steady see what course. Happens. Is it really not going to acquire the moss? Wow. Okay, I guess you're at the wrong depth. Or something. Look at all these, though. Oh yeah, they fired a whole brace of the things at us. Wow. I think we want to go th this way. Right two, two, six, three, I think we want to speed up. We want to retract the toad array again, and we don't want to waste any time. We just want to get out of the way of this this freight train of torpedoes headed our way. Hello again, Tango. Con, maneuvering, making turns for he must be... Three, oh, something's two, exploded. Probably nine. the torpedo is over here. He must be seriously moving if we can hear him con right now. Sonar regained contact on Sierra 6, bearing zero, zero, 006. You're... you turned this way, little... git. Come 
left to one, nine, four, helm, I. Come right to two, three, four, helm, I. Okay, I don't think it's actually turned with us, so I don't think that one still has its cable. I thought maybe it did. Sierra, second, helm, steady course. Come right to two, two, five, helm, I. Con sonar regained contact. I think we're well out of that Sierra thing's six. Rig ship for sensor cone. I should probably check these things, you know. Let's see, you said 80. Seeker range 1.5k, yeah. Uh, we're fine. Uh, right. How are we doing? Let's deploy the toad array. Once again, attempt to get a picture of what the heck is going on out here. Okay, we've picked up the blue whale again. Foxtrot. The... No, we haven't picked up the other tango. That's the wreck that we've picked up. That we could, we still know the location of, rather. What is going on down here? Ah, these are starting to go active. I see. Nice and out of harm's way. Right, we've got eyes on the Foxtrot again. <laughs> the moss is headed straight for it, as a matter of fact. How amusing. Can we get the depth of the Foxtrot right now? It's up there somewhere. It's up above. I'm a little disappointed. We can't see it, actually. Oh, there it is. There it is. Look at it in the gloom. Spooky looking thing. Nobody seems to be active pinging us right now. Come right to three. If <laughs> only that weren't a moss and it were a torpedo. I know this one's set for a circling pattern. I do not wish it to be that. All right. On, helm. Steady course. We're back to hunting for each other. He doesn't seem particularly phased by the moss, does he? It isn't bothering him very much. How are we doing for torpedoes? Ten left, including the ones in the tubes. Right. Good to know. If we sink this Foxtrot, I think that'll be enough for a mission complete, but uh, I'd like to get the Kilo as well. Oh, of course this is a Foxtrot, it's not a Tango. I was mixing it up with the Tango. If it's a Foxtrot, this thing is... yeah. No wonder it can't hear us. I was going to go round to its baffles and try and get it there, but it's probably not even worth bothering. I'm going to ignore it, Mr. Foxtrot, for now. Good to know that he's there, but he's harmless at the moment because we're at 600 meters. What I'd like to know is where the hell the kilo is, and unfortunately, it's probably far enough away from us now that it's going to be really tricky to find. Hello, the Foxtrot. You seem to have changed direction. What are you doing? Turning around, I think. Interesting. Come right to zero eight six Helm I. Con Helm. Course. I'm wondering if closing to 15 kilometers at the start of the engagement was a, was a bad idea, but honestly, the thing about the easels is if you don't close the distance there, it can be impossible to find. This guy's been quite irritating, you know. He keeps changing direction where I don't want him to go.
Mess up. I'm gonna try and get rid of this guy. Almost gonna certainly gonna attract the attention of the damn kilo though, unfortunately. That's Toad array back in. Let's get ourselves back down below where his set 65s can find us. Does he even know that we launched? He must do, surely. Yeah, he's, yeah, he must have done. He must have heard that. Yeah, he's pinging active. Of course he's. Of course he's. Of course he has. Of course he has. At this range, is there going to be much he can do about it? I don't know. Funny thing is, honestly, is that really the, the 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 thing that we're already safe. Nice. Rig ship for ultra quiet. The, the funny thing is, honestly, is that, that at this point, our our tiger fish once is once it's launched and it's not got the cable anymore. It's it's kind of it's a, it's about as effective as a set sixty five. Really, I mean, it's got a better seeker cone on it, but that's about it. Aside from that, it is a dumb torpedo. Much ah, like so these that he's firing back at us. Sierra, six. You can just see him in the distance there. Con, dive at six, zero, zero, dive by. Hmm. Tigerfish, come on. You're gonna get this guy, right? Con, sonar, launch transient from Surely. Sierra, six. Yes, there we go. Con sonar, noise they make you bearing. think sometimes, Zero, don't they? They make two, you wonder. Con sonar, noise maker bearing. Zero, two, He's six. moving and grooving. Con sonar, noise maker bearing. Zero, two, six. Wibbling and wobbling. Con sonar, noise Ducking and diving. Bearing. Zero, two, five. But it is for contact. Sierra six. Last bearing zero two five. Contact breaking up. All right. Come left to zero zero two. Helm I. Come left to three three nine. Helm I. Deploy the toad array, please. Take us this way. I have a kilo that I would quite like to get my hands on. Oh, there goes set sixty five. Of course tried to get us and it exploded because it went too deep as a matter of fact let's go up to 300 now the rest of the set 65s are, are destroyed so we don't have them to worry about so we've got the to we've got the toad array out we're doing a nice slow five knots rig ship for ultra quiet Could rig for ultra quiet as well just to make a bit less ambient noise and now we listen. Although my ah, uh, problem is if the kilo's being nice and quiet, it's gonna be so hard to find. It's gonna be so hard to find. Even with active sonar, it might be hard to find. Zero, zero, die by. But we're just gonna have to look for him, folks. I will be back when something of interest happens. And indeed, something of interest has happened. It's not the kilo. God knows where the kilo is. Uh, that's not a surprise, really. It's what those slippery things are like. However, we do we have reacquired. We have reacquired. There's an extra R in there. Um, we have reacquired the tango that gave me such trouble earlier. I mean, it wasn't a lot of trouble, but um, his his wire guided USA. You 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 you. you bleh, bleh, bleh. 
I think it's the stress. I think it's the stress in these in these cold waters videos that causes me to completely lose all all concept of being able to formulate sentences correctly. Um, but the the U set eighty it fired at us that with the, with the wire still attached that gave me so much grief earlier. It came from this guy, and we've reacquired him. So, Come, I'd like to slot three, in behind four, him four, and five. shoot him in the ass with a passive homer. That's what I'd like to do. Will we manage to do it? Is the question. Con helm, steady course. It's his depth right now. Okay. Roughly similar to ours. Now we slowly crawl along. The, the tango is only doing three knots. Wow. Why are you so slow? Possibly to be as quiet as he possibly can, although we did still hear him. Just about. Probably because we're even quieter than him. 120 decibels is pretty damn quiet, and we're out doing 117.2 at the moment. I think we might not have picked him up so soon if it weren't for the fact that our crew has got quite a bit of experience with sound dampening and whatnot. It's that little bit of that few extra decibels of redu noise reduction that really, really help um, set a, an experienced crew in this game apart from a rookie one. So it's a slow process, but now I'm going to try and maneuver around behind him and keep an ear out in case the Kilo reveals himself again. I'll be back once we've gotten to a better position, folks. Or, in, well, I'll be back if the jiggy's up and they've all also started firing at us, of course, I suppose. Hi. All right, here's an update. I was making my way, stalking around the Tango. Made it about past him. I was just starting to think about coming back in this way. And guess who makes a dramatic reappearance? Oh, yeah, it's this guy. Hi. He's on a course in this direction, although I don't know. He might zigzag back this way to follow the tango. It's difficult to say at this point. But both of them seem to have come in this direction to investigate what happened to the tango and the foxtrot. Um, but neither of them know where I am at right now. Or am right now. I've, I've slowed to three knots right now in an effort to remain as quiet as possible. Con, helm, steady I have got myself up to a roughly there depth in order to prepare for a torpedo launch. But um, this guy appearing quite where he has, in quite the direction he has, has thrown a small spanner into the works. But if we want to get either of them, of the Kilo and the Tango, if I want either of them, I want, definitely want to kill the Kilo first. So I'm going to continue stalking around this way and try and get around behind the kilo. Hopefully in such a way that the tango doesn't even hear me fire at the kilo, nor does it even hear the kilo go down. And it will continue obliviously along in this direction, none the wiser, in which case I can then fire off another one and finish him off too. But that's best case scenario stuff, and rarely in this game do we end up with the best case scenario, do we? We have to make do with whatever actually happens. Best laid plans of mice and men and all that. So, uh, yeah, I'll return, folks, when, uh, well, when either I'm ready to fire or it has fired at me. Okay. We're in a good position. We're behind them. I've just lost the tango because I've decided to speed up. I'm in his baffles and the kilos at the moment, so even if I do speed up, he won't be able to hear me. I'm now going to do something interesting. Um, I really would like to leave no margin for error with this. I'd really like to make sure the Kilo is completely and utterly dead. Um, which means I would like to get directly behind him and actually also as close as possible. I've sped up to 10 knots now. He's currently doing 8 so that I can slowly creep up behind him more and more and more and more. And fire once we see the whites of his eyes, basically, is my plan. It's a risky one, but we are down to not that many torpedoes left, and I'd really like to make sure we don't have to endure another round of jousting if he realizes something's up. Or indeed, if I just get the trajectory wrong from firing from an angle, the tigerfish decides to just be a dumbass and doesn't acquire him any number of things. I want to I just eliminate as many what-ifs as possible is the idea. 
by introducing another what if, which is uh, if I get really close to him, will, will he still somehow manage to hear me, or will the tango hear me, for example? So, uh, <laughs> we shall see. Go right to two, zero, nine, helm, I. Oh, we've re-established contact with one of the whales, apparently. Very good. Uh, even with time compression, though, mind you, if we're only two months faster, it will take us a little while to catch up. But uh, I don't want it to be one of those ones where we, have to, we end up shooting from so far away that we actually lose contact with our own torpedo. And I'm just sat there, sat there wondering whether or not if it's going in the right direction. So we're going to keep creeping up. Ladies and gentlemen, it's safe to say I've gotten quite close. I talked about earlier in the in the series about how how the subs in this game had like an automatic detection radius around them, and then someone said that it's not the case. At least I don't think it's the case in dot mod. And I thought to myself, having no idea what the tango is still at this point, why not put that to the test? Why not try and do a whitey mac? And oh, he's diving and try and sneak up right underneath a Soviet submarine. Come right to two, one, and nine, so far, nine, it nine. seems to be working. We're going slightly faster than him, remaining dead in his baffles. He has no idea we're here. Thank God he doesn't have a toad array. <laughs> He's going down again. They like to flip-flop up and down these guys a little bit. It's interesting. Passing 1,000 feet. Well, there we are. I'm th I feel like that's about as close as I dare get, honestly. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Make Bring us up a little bit. More, more, die by. Thing is, I can't really launch from this angle because I'm actually I'm not sure I trust the tiger fish to go up and get it. <laughs> So, I don't know where the Foxtrot is. Uh, I mean, sorry, the Tango. Um, I assume he's down here somewhere by now. I don't really care quite so much about him. Alright, there it is. That'll do it. Two, two, one, That's seven, not what I meant to do. I. Space bar to fire, you Egypt. Con, fire control, we won. Of course we lost the wire. Not that it matters at this range. Con, helm, steady course. There we go. Con, sonar, lost contact. Sierra, one. Last bearing, two. Point one, blank range. Nine. Contact breaking up. You didn't have a clue. I'm going to take us this way. I'm going to deploy the toad array. And I'm going to see if we can hear the foxtrot anywhere, but I suspect we won't. I think that one might have gotten away. Con helm, steady course. Con sonar regain oh. contact on Sierra four bearing zero zero eight. Oh, the whale! <laughs> we regained contact on the friggin' whale again. I see, I see, I see. Come left to zero nine two helm I. Rig ship Actually, for ultra quiet. Just a single knot. One knot. Make turns for one knot. 
Be as quiet as a mouse. Con, helm, steady course. Con, maneuvering, making... We'll stop, in fact. Make turns for zero. If you can't hear anything zero after nine. a few minutes... Con, with... Sonar, there radio, he is. Contact on, Sierra, five, there three, we go. One, if in five, doubt, eight. cut engines completely and use the toad array. And then you might just find them. Alrighty then. Do we want to do that again? I'm not sure I have the time, frankly. That took ages to catch up with him. Let's just wait for this solution to come back a bit better. Seventy-seven percent, eighty-two, eighty-eight, ninety-five. There he is. All right. Come right to one five. Make turns for five knots. Maneuvering eye. Let's go after him. Con, dive at one eight. He three, is a, six, 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 a feral distance away from us. And uh, we're not in his baffles just yet, so I can't really speed up very much. Alright, be right back once we've gotten into position on this one. Alright, folks. We, uh, like, we're on his tail. He's still a fair clip away from us, really, right now. He's about 12 kilometers away, slightly less. Uh, but I am going to take a pot shot at him because uh, we've been at this for ages now, and I'm really getting fed up. I just want it to die so we can get out of here and call this a mission complete. So, uh, I think I'll pop the old tiggy fish there-ish, thereabouts. Con fire control, we've lost the wire. And now we watch and wait, everybody. Go on, little tiger fish. Swim, swim away. Take me forever to catch up to him. Besides, we're, we're sort of approaching the bottom borders of the map at the moment as well. Not, not, not. We're not super close, but we're. we're by the time I caught up to him, if I was going to do what I did there with the kilo. We'd probably be down here-ish, and that's sort of, you know, it's not great. It's a bit too close to the map borders because, unfortunately, in this game, the the sea just mysteriously ends at this point. If you get into the red area, then that's it. You can't go any further. And the, even if the submarine, I've had it before. I've had it had it happen to me before in previous campaigns. I genuinely have where. I've been like here, and the enemy submarine, submarine's been like here, and I'm like, just give me a. F if I ha if I had ten more in-game minutes, I'd be able to. I'd be able to get him, but I can't because of the mysterious edge of the world barrier right there, where here be dragons. Um, it basically meant that I wasn't able to do it. I was so annoyed. Anyway, we fired one at him, and it'll be there hopefully very soon. And again, he should have no idea. This is what I wanted to happen at the very beginning of the mission, but we got there in the end, didn't we? Funny thing to note, actually, the terminology fire. In virtually all navies in the world, to my knowledge, they use the term shoot on board a ship when it comes to firing weapons, so as not to confuse it with the shout fire, because, you know, there's a fire on board the ship. With the notable exception of Royal Navy submarines, upon which the term fire is in fact used for firing torpedoes. I don't know why they don't use the term shoot, because the US Navy certainly does, but they don't. Or at least they didn't. It's the sort of thing is like, you know, I, 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 I can only tell you that that was the case back in 1985. I have no idea if it's still the case, but back in, back in the 80s on a Royal Navy submarine, you did in fact say fire when you wanted to fire a torpedo. Even though on Royal Navy surface ships you would say shoot to fire a weapon, not on a submarine. Bit weird. There it is. Hey, this is what I, would, I was worried about. Oh, there we go. We got him. This is what I thought would happen the first time if I didn't get closer, is that the, the torpedo just disappears off the, uh, off the sonar and you have to just sit here and wait and hope it worked. But this time it did. Excellent. Down he goes. Got my revenge after you, you bastard. Right, we're done, at last. 
All four of them sunk. Two tangos, a foxtrot, and a kilo. Um, nice. We have seven tigerfish remaining. No mosses. And two harpoons. Hopefully, Northward will let us come home now. But you never know. No! No! You are joking! That wasn't my mission objective? Are you taking the piss? That was a wolf pack of four sur diesel submarines in our What? Oh my god. Is this them? Is this them inbound now? Ladies and gentlemen, you're going to have to wait until next time to find out because wow. Wow. I'm tempted to just go home out to Fazlane out of spite and let the mission fail, but... No, 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 no. We'll do this, we'll do this, it's fine. We have no decoys left, and we only have like four torpedoes, but it's fine, it'll be fine. A lot of, hopefully there's only two of them and not four. Oh, God. Oh boy. Right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that'll be next time. Thank you very much for tuning in. Hope you've enjoyed. And on that bombshell, good night.